Updated October 31, 2017-08-4839 Incumbent President Uhuru Kenyatta has won 98% of the vote in a repeat presidential election in Kenya, although only 39% of voters turned out due to an opposition boycott, the Electoral Commission says. Key point Uhuru Kenyatta says he expects another court challenge the opposition leader Rayla Odinga branded the election a farce as mal protests break out as results are announced speaking ahead of the results. Kenya's election commission chief Wafula Chebukati said he was confident the country had conducted a free, fair and credible election. In his victory speech, Mr Kenyatta repeated his belief that his victory in the original August 8 election, later nullified by the Supreme Court due to a string of irregularities, was legitimate and said dialogue would have to wait if the opposition was going to lodge court cases again. My victory today is just part of a process that is likely to once again be subjected to a constitutional test through our courts, I will submit to this constitutional path regardless of the outcome, Mr Kenyatta said. Those who are going to ask me are you going to engage in dialogue, let them and the opposition first and foremost exhaust all their constitutional options. The announcement set off small protests in a few opposition strongholds, but also celebrations in pro-Kenyatta areas of the East African country. Veteran opposition leader Rayla Odinga had already branded the election a farce. Given the deeply polarized atmosphere, some Kenyans fear that the violence seen so far, for the most part protesters clashing with police, is starting to take on ethnic overtones after two deaths in clashes between rival groups at the weekend. On Monday, the U.S. ambassador said Washington was profoundly concerned by the outbreaks of violence in Kenya, East Africa's biggest economy and a key security ally of the West against militant Islam, since the October 26 rerun election. Mr Kenyatta took 98% of the vote in the rerun, results from 266 out of 291 constituencies showed. The Electoral Commission said 7,616,217 valid votes were cast, representing 39% of the 19.6 million registered voters. Protests by Mr Odinga's supporters prevented polling stations from opening in 25 constituencies. The Election Commission said poor security prevented balloting in those areas, but the final announcement could go ahead as it would not materially affect the result. Small protests break out as results are declared as the Election Commission began reading results on Monday, about 100 youths listening through their mobile phones gathered in Nairobi's Kuang Weslam, chanting No Rayla No Peace. As soon as the outcome was announced, protesters lit a bonfire in the middle of the street and began taunting riot police with cries of the people want tear gas. Earlier in the day, police dispersed protesters there with tear gas when they tried to block a visit to Kawangwe by Interior Minister Fred May Shangi. In another Nairobi shanty town, Mathair, the scene of deadly clashes between police and protesters immediately after the August vote, social worker Anne Imbathia, 58, said before the results were known that women were hurrying home. We are afraid because here in Mathair youth are ready to fight if Uhuru is announced the winner, she said. Women are afraid to come out of their houses. And in the western city of Kijumu, Mr Odinga's political heartland, about 50 youths began to block the road at the Condil roundabout, the epicenter of protests while others banged metal poles together. But the protest was small. What can I do they've already announced? It. Even if I burn ties, nothing will change, said 25-year-old Labour Kennedy Omondi as he watched young men set a barricade alight. Mr. Odinga pulled out of last week's vote, saying the Electoral Commission had failed to institute reforms to forestall the kind of illegalities and irregularities that scuppered Mr. Kenyatta's victory in the August election. Kura Yangu Soti Yangu, a coalition of civil society organizations with 2,000 election observers, said there were multiple cases where results from polling stations differed from results on the forms posted on the election portal after last week's vote. Reuters topics elections, government and politics, world politics, unrest conflict and why Kenya first posted October 31, 2017 054952.